We just heard about fun nighttime activities for kids. Now here to tell us about one more, a big one for kids and adults is Carissa Cedor. She is from the Carnegie Science Center along with Quasi the Robot. Welcome to both of you. Thank you so much. Quasi, welcome to you. <laughs> Great to be here. Oh, it's so great to have you here. So we'll start with Carissa and then we'll get to Quasi. Tell me about this new program for kids and adults. Yeah, we're very excited uh, since Quasi has joined our team at the Buell Planetarium uh, for our new show. It's called Expedition Solar System. Okay. And it's all about exploring our solar system and meeting a lot of the amazing uh, robotic spacecraft that have been out there. So Quasi takes us around and uh, introduces us to his robot friends. And so Quasi, does he lead the tour? Does he interact with the kids or the guests? Yeah, so Quasi is absolutely part of the show. Uh, Quasi is our science officer. Oh. So he has a lot of information and knows a lot about all of the planets and as well as the robots that are there. And he sometimes uh, takes a turn driving the show too. Oh boy. And so I see Quasi, his eyes and ears are changing colors. You were telling me that he has a range of emotions and movements. Right, yeah. So Quasi is designed to use his personality to help educate people. So uh, Quasi has a range of emotions that he can, uh, yeah, he's a little sad right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, he's happy again. Yeah, so he has a range of emotions, uh, all part of his personality that help people kind of relate and uh, learn more about robots and, and how they fit into our lives. And so it's a new interactive show. Yes, yeah. So the, the audience is very much a part of the show. Okay. Um, we have a lot of fun at the beginning of the show where we invite people up to actually meet the planets, uh, which we brought a couple of them I here. I see you have them. Are they in order? They are in order okay. from closest to I the sun uh, to furthest from the sun. Is Pluto here? Uh, Pluto is not here. These are the major it, planets. It's, yeah, Pluto's not Pluto's as a big dwarf. as it used to be, right? Well, or? it's the same size. Uh, it's classified as a dwarf planet now. Oh, yeah. I see. So, Quasi, does Quasi know the planets? Do oh, you know Quasi. the major planets, Quasi? This is a test. Oh, I sure do. Okay, oh, do I'd tell. Oh, i tell you guys about the planets. Yeah, yes. Quasi, can you tell us about your favorite planet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let me tell you about my favorite planet. My favorite planet is... Mars. Mars. Yeah, Mars is the red right planet. Right here, yes, right beside Earth. I know, well, not right beside, but in yeah, the but Mars is here, one yeah. of our neighbors. Yes. And someday we're going to send people to Mars, but robots are paving the way. That's one cool. of my buddies, the Mars science rover, Curiosity, is trekking across the desert right now, searching for signs of ancient water and signs of, of ancient life. It's pretty awesome. That is a very cool robot. That is very cool. So, Kwasi, how do you feel about leading this new interactive exhibit and interacting with the guests who come visit you at the Science Center? Oh, I'm having a blast. I love working at the old planetarium because I get to talk about all the planets and share everything that NASA robots have been teaching us. I also love working here in Pittsburgh. Did you guys know I'm a Pittsburgh original? No, oh, I did not. here in Pittsburgh uh, by the good folks at Interbots. They were some students who love robots. And uh, they came up with me. How cool is that? And so, Carissa, you guys have an exciting weekend this weekend. Tell me about that. Yeah, we do. So coming up on Friday, uh, which is tomorrow, March 16th, uh, we have our Skywatch program yes. uh, at 8 and 10 p.m. We'll be opening up the planetarium doors to anyone who wants to come on down by. Uh, we have rain or shine programming. And then if it's clear, we'll take people upstairs to our observatory and give people a chance to do some uh, deep sky stargazing for themselves. OK, so you start inside with the Skywatch and yes. then and as you said, that's rain or shine. Yep. And then you can go upstairs and actually yeah, see Yeah, so the... if it's clear out, we'll go upstairs. But we always have something going on uh, for Skywatch nights. Uh, whether it's cloudy or not, there's always some fun to be had in the planetarium. Excellent. And so, Quasi, tell me, are you going to be there this weekend? Oh, I'm there all the time in the planetarium. Me and all my favorite planets. And we're going to have a blast. I hope you guys can be there, too, at Carnegie Science Center. I hope that we are able to join you. And I understand that you know some facts about many of the planets. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Oh, sure. Ask me. Okay, Quasi Quiz. Did you know if Saturn's rings were shrunk to the size of Heinz Field, they would, all, they would be only as thick as a piece of tissue paper? Is that right? That is. Well, let me confirm that. Hold on a second. System processing. <laughs> Data confirmed. You are correct. <laughs> if it's Saturn to the hot size of Heinz Field, its rings would be only as thick as a piece of tissue paper. Did not know that, you Quasi. Heard it, you heard it here. What's the largest planet in the solar system? Oh, largest planet? Bleep, bleep, bleep. 
The largest planet is Jupiter. There you go. Very... And there's nowhere to land. It's a great big ball of clouds and gas. Wow. That's true. He's a smart robot, yeah, too. He knows his stuff. He really does. Only studying. the best. <laughs> Quasi, Carissa, thank you so much for joining us. Now, you can meet Quasi at the Carnegie Science Center's newest interactive planetarium show, Expedition Solar System. Find out about showtimes on the Carnegie Science website. And tomorrow night at 8 and 10, don't miss Sky Watch for a virtual tour of the night sky at the Buell Planetarium. Then head up to the observatory. <laughs> telescope at the actual stars and planets. We'll be right back with one more check on your local forecast. Thanks for watching more of PTL after this.